welcome to the front nine video from episode 25 every course in myrtle beach at burning ridge we're nine holes in we started on 10 we're four over we had five pars four bogeys scrap real real scrappy bogey on 18 a par five uh we also we got another par five here on number one to get us started let's uh see if we can give ourselves a good chance to break 80 that'd be uh, kind of our goal today the first hole here at burning ridge it's a 570 par five Rowan driver just left of that bunker Let's have a nine. Did not see it down. Obviously you saw me run that way. It went a little left. The people need to revolt. That is not accurate, guys. Do not let a course talk you into paying for damage. It's the course's responsibility. I was getting pretty worried. It took me almost a couple minutes to find this one, but we stayed in bounds and stayed out of this hazard barely. Second hole in a row where we're just, second part five in a row, we're just wedging out. We got a lob wedge over these trees, and that's not an easy one. Oh no, it got up too quick and hit this tree right in front of us. Freak, that cost us a lot of yardage. We are a long way from home. I'm gonna hit this three wood. I think we're about 300 yards out. It's kind of low and left. I didn't see it land. Obviously, you're not gonna get there this far out. Wasn't paying a whole lot of attention and didn't realize there's water back there, but there's a ball. Where is it? I think you can see it right there. Wonder if that's mine. Amazingly, this is my ball. Fourth shot here. This would be one of these Parker pars if we can get this up there. Man. This looks pretty good. Yeah, we got a putted par after all that. Uh, that really ran out though. It's like 15, 20 feet. Ah. Well, that's back to back bogues on par fives. Not what you want, but that could have, it could have easily both been probably doubles. So take it with a grain of salt. They're both asleep over there. Love it. Number two, our 11th of the day. It's 184 par three. Not a lot going on up there. A little helping wind. Still very hot out. Swing a seven. Ah, it's got to go. I kind of ballooned it. Get to the front. Yeah, it did. Not too bad. No, the cart pass aren't great, but I, I will say I've not seen another golfer. I know I, you know, I had like a 4:15 tee time. It was probably packed this morning, and a lot of courses might be wide open in the afternoons. But I always love a wide open course. So uh, yeah, anytime we can get one on the dance floor. Close to a 190 out, we'll take it about 40 feet here. Let's get the par. Settle, settle there. All right, pretty good. Yep, happy with that par. The third dead straight par for 400 yards. We're gonna dial back a little bit with three wood. That was hooked left. Decent break. Found it. We dropped down and left. Uh, got 225 yards. Kind of a tweener between a uh, 
a two and a four. We're gonna go for him. Ah, it's left again. Ugly hole so far. Another decent break, kick down. We got about uh, 50 or 60 yards. Looks like we got a backstop up there too. The Y is just, it's almost too good. It's just sitting straight up in the air. A little worried of going under this, so I'm gonna kinda hover the club a little bit. More of a square face. Get a good one up there. Clipped it good. Needs to spin, I think. Guess that ridge isn't very big. Thought that landed in a pretty good spot, but uh, gonna have to make a putt. Landed right here. You know, checked to get didn't uh, this ridge obviously is not not as nearly as big as it as I thought. We got about a 15 footer downhill. Right to left for par. Oh, babied it, babied it, babied it. There's another bogey. That is uh, six bogeys here through, what, 12 holes? Six bogeys, six pars. Let's see if we can uh, finish well. It's going to be a grind to break 80. Fourth hole, par four, 355. Kind of a layup hole. We're going two iron. Should be good. Yep. So I finally got a uh, good drive underway for the first hole in a while. I don't recall a birdie putt since probably like number 10, our first hole of the day. It'd be nice if we got a birdie look here. This is a short hole, probably got a uh, sand wedge, lob wedge in. So uh, let's see if we can get a bird here. Be big. 101 yards uphill a little bit. Uh, hot. Still 90 degrees, so I think those are going to even out. We're going to uh, play it right at 100 yards. Should be a, a good lob wedge. Right at it. Be good for us. Come on. Looks like it spun back a little much, but I uh, finally got that birdie putt we were wanting. All right. Yep, this is our easiest, best look for birdie all day. About 15 feet, a little right to left. Let's knock it home. Yes, said I want it, got it. That's big, back to five over. Boy, these par threes out here are no joke. We got 206 on this one. Undecided on the club yet. All right, it's a little uh, right to left, little helping breeze. We're gonna go six iron. Tiny little green up there, too. These par threes, some of the hardest I've played yet in the series. Mm, that's just let, just a duck hook. I mean, it kicked out and right. I mean, how, are you, how do you even do that is beyond me. A little bit of tree issues. We'd normally just pitch this up there with a, a 60. We're going to have to flight a 56 in there. You know, it's never good when you're talking about tree issues on a par three. We're still like 60 yards out. Just babied it, forgot to hit it. Was focused on the tree and babied it. Grinding for Bogue. So we're in a pretty good spot after two shots on this hole, eh? Go and turn, go and turn. It's darkening up a lot out here, guys. Hopefully we can get this in. Not sure if there's a storm moving in or what. Uh, I haven't checked the radar. But this is a big freaking bogey putt here. 
weak, weak effort. That is a really bad double. Man. Number six, our 15th of the day. It's a 340 par four. Goes left. We're going to hit a four and out over those bunkers. Pretty pitiful dub there on that last, guys. Let's uh, let's get a bounce back here. This is not a hard hole here. Not sure where that ended up. My hands are slipping. They're sweaty as can be. We're fine. Not the angle you want, but uh, decent lie, no trees issues, 60 yards. Got to go over this bunker, see if we can dial in this lob wedge. Got a little bit right, it's probably past, I'm guessing 20, maybe even 30 feet, not, not that great. All right, bad guess. Definitely not 30 feet, only about 15. And it's uphill, right, uh, left to right breaker. One of our uh, prior second best chance for bird of the day. See if we can knock it down. We need it. Hopped. It hopped on this old cup right there. I'm sh I could probably show a replay. That was a big old hop. Uh, I'm not saying it was going in, but uh, that ruined all chances. To tap in par, we're seven over three to go. Number seven, it's a 480 par five. Pretty straight off the tee, just left of that bunker. Good driver, and we're, uh, we're gonna have a chance for Eagle here. Let's go. Going brand new glove. This is our third glove of the day. I mean, that's duck hooked. Probably OB, maybe it, uh, maybe we got a break. I ask and we shall receive, kind of incredible, but we kicked out, I mean, that was an ugly, ugly low left duck hook and we're here in the middle of the fairway. I mean, it didn't go very far. We're, we're 290 out, I think, but uh, wow, huge break. This is our chance if we want to break 80. This is uh, probably where we need that bird. No, what are we? We're yeah, we're seven over. So actually, we just need pars. But let's get a little insurance. Smash this up there, just short. Get a bird. Should be fine. I ran a long way. Wow, I might not be too far short. I mean, it was kind of low and left again, but it wasn't real bad. I kind of ran up there. Someone told me I should start showcasing the houses a little more and uh, more about the neighborhood and course and whatnot. And I believe they're right. So there's a little house shot for you guys. I mean, kind of, uh, if I'm being honest, average at best for the Myrtle Beach area. So we ran up past pin high, actually. Pretty tough shot. Got this up slope and then it's slipping down. We've probably rather been right back there, but uh, see if we can make the most of it. Up and down, bird. Did that go in? Oh, oh no. I, I thought I lost the ball. It's behind my tripod there. For a second, I thought that went in. I ran up the hill and didn't see it. Shoot. Almost got real excited there, guys, but. We're just behind the camera here. Uh, birdie putt after that drive. I wasn't thinking, probably wasn't thinking uh, you really have a birdie putt, but uh, we got one. Ah. That is a par. We're on the cusp, right on the edge of breaking 80, plus uh, seven, two to go. The eighth hole, 350, par four, goes right. Pretty straight off the tee, just left of that bunker, going two iron.
<laughs> ugly guys let me know what y'all think of the ridge out here at burning ridge there there used to be uh two two courses here 36 like a lot of courses in the area they're down to uh just 18 but uh not a bad little track it's in good i will say it's in good shape the greens are in good shape there's uh nothing wrong with the the conditioning tucked back right flag we got 146 as hot as here that's kind of uh nine might be a bit much so short uh looks like the pins in the back i think short's gonna be a better miss we're gonna hit a firm wedge i hit it good hit it good little left of it happy with that one look at this green for a second y'all that is tiny back there. We hit a pretty good shot in there. About 20 feet. Glad we didn't hit the uh, nine. We'd been back here. All right. Did our, our gardening there. I usually like to set the camera, set you guys up on the other side for a nice view. But we're going to keep you all right here with me for, uh, for this one. Get a little uh, backstroke uh, cam, a little view. I know sometimes it gets a little loopy, but I feel like I'm a decent putter for being a four handicap. Not really my weak point anymore when i used to be a plus plus handicap believe it or not i did that was that was my weak point but since i've switched to the claw it's uh it's helped me out we got about 20 25 feet plumb bob shows it breaking right but i look at it not sure i really see that so we're gonna play it pretty straight and we're gonna take the flag out I should have trusted it. it. did go right. Huh. All right, on to the last. Number nine, our final hole from Burning Ridge. It's a 375, par four. Pretty straight, then goes right. We're swinging two iron. Didn't hit it good, but it's uh, straight, so we'll take it. It's chased out in front of the, uh, the 150. Be careful with these suckers, guys. They will snag your food in a heartbeat. Chased out in a real nice spot. We only got 93 yards front pin. It's very strong. Be good. I like it in the air. Spun back. We got about a 10, 15 footer below the hole. I think that should pretty much secure breaking 80 out here. Hit that subscribe, guys, while you're uh, watching me line up this birdie putt here. On our way to a breaking 80 out here at Burning Ridge. This for a 78. Obviously, it's uphill. I don't see a whole heck of a lot in it other than straight uphill. I think I think it's falling a little right. Let's give it a good roll. I got the uh, collar kind of in my backstroke. So what I usually have to do, what I like to do on that is just kind of lift it up a little more. Yes, I thought for a second that uh, lipped out on that right side, but what a finish guys. Birdied the last for 78. That makes dinner taste a lot better. Hope y'all enjoyed the round here from Burning Ridge. Let me know what you thought. I enjoyed the course. I like it. Appreciate y'all watching. See you at the next one. Peace.